Today, we attempt to conquer the Alps, unite our people, and fight to be recognized as a mighty kingdom inside the Holy Roman Empire. If all the Alpine cantons are brought together, the Empire will have to recognize their claim as a unified confederation. So, for this, we start as the smallest count in that area. And for traits, I don't think we got that lucky. We got lazy. Temperate's pretty good. Callus is okay. And he's not too bad, military-wise. We already have two sons. He's apparently 26. He looks about 13. So I don't know what is going on there. And for the decision, we need to completely control this duchy, which we start in. So we'll try and get that one first. Then we need to get this one. And if we end up completely controlling the duchy of Savoy, it becomes de jure part of Switzerland. Or we could just carve our own legacy in today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, where you can fight in the PvP arena, join clans and work with your allies to defeat the clan bosses and receive massive weekly rewards. Although the fastest way to progress is playing the campaign to stack up XP, silver and even artifacts. But before all that, you must select your starting champion with four to pick from. Athel is fantastic for PvP as she can gain an extra turn, allowing her to hit her enemies before they strike back. Elhane makes critical hits seem easy, dealing massive amounts of damage. Galek is great for dungeons by placing speed boosts on himself and lowering the defense of your enemies. And Kale comes with deadly AoE attacks, meaning he's always an amazing choice. And until the 14th of March, there's the Saint Valentine's event, where you can enjoy a special Valentine's Day themed adventure with the Raid Love Quest. To get involved, just download the game using the link below and head to the link on screen and enter your player ID. And then just play one of the Valentine's Day themed mini games for a chance to win great in-game rewards and real life prizes like Valentine's Day themed raid champions and even Amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars. And existing players can use the code SaintValentine23 to receive in-game gifts. So make sure to download the game using my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen to get a free starter pack. And for this decision, we need to be a vassal of any emperor, which we are. We need to be illustrious and just control the region of old Switzerland. So starting out, I mean, we have, I think, 500 troops. We start with two stacks of pikemen. That's not terrible. Making 1.5 gold per month. If I check, this is the main duchy capital. So I won't bother actually increasing development yet because I'll do that when we take this county. I'm going to make that our capital. We'll start making a claim though, for sure. Get that going straight away. Our spy master and son has zero uh, intrigue. So I don't know why he is my spy master. He absolutely sucks. And for a marriage, I'm just going to look for somebody that's infertile and has good stewardship. So we'll go with her. Apparently she's infertile. So we're going to do that. Get her on our council. Put her on managed domains. Get the extra money. Straight away, we're already down a martial focus. We actually already have the gallant trait. So that's not bad already. We may as well just pick up the 10% extra domain taxes and we'll just try and get the extra money. And um, we need to find some marriages for our children. There's a genius right there. So we'll marry our main heir to her. And then for our second son, we're just going to go full alliance power, to be honest. So we can get an alliance with Lostritz. And that comes with 2,000 men. I'm going to take that. And with that money from getting married, we are going to buy, I say, we buy some mangonels. Get some faster sieges on the go. We need to build an army quite fast because I think if we leave it too long. These guys are all going to get eaten up by each other and then we'll have a bigger enemy to face. There we go. That one just got taken. So we just got vassalized. So we need to get burned as fast as possible. So we got the claim. Let's just go straight for the war. We're going to raise all. Our armies did defeat theirs. Fantastic. Now we just have to siege. But of course, we do have the mangonels to help with that. And we actually don't have enough men. So we're going to have to actually go home, resupply. This is terrible. We have to reinforce our men because they have 374 men here, I think. So we need to siege it before we lose that many men, which is not happening because they keep attacking me. We could call our ally, but I mean, prob he's not even going to accept. And plus, I was going to say, probably a waste of prestige. Oh, and one thing I didn't even think about doing, I'm going to modify the contract. We're actually exempt. We'll give him low taxes for council rights and then demand council position and we will become his steward. That's one of the best things about being a feudal vassal. And if you look now on his council, we're getting an extra three gold per month for that. They basically just have unlimited ticking war score. I don't know what to do. Um, our ally will accept. Now we're going to have to call
call him as we just cannot siege. <laughs> this is not fantastic. My son has died. Which one? Oh, I've had another. I selected infertile. What is she doing? Giving me children. What the hell? She's supposed to be infertile anyway, but she definitely. Oh my God. And my other son is one legged. Wounded and he's been maimed. Jesus. Um, right. Forbid. Stop being a knight. He's getting absolutely destroyed. So, so far in this war, we've lost a son and my other son has just been butchered. Hopefully my allies are making their way. And he died. Okay, that war actually claimed the lives of both of my children. Well, this is a good start. <laughs> so hopefully we just live long enough now for my other son to come of age. Are my allies coming? Or... No, they're in another war. This is just going terribly. Right, we can maybe buy some cheap mercenaries. Yeah, let's just do it. We don't have a choice. Our allies are not helping us. We're in debt, but we need to get this war over and done with. But she's also giving me a daughter as well. So I don't know what it meant by infertile. She clearly isn't, but fine. But you know what? We, we kind of need to make up our lost children. So we'll, we'll take it for now. But yeah, we have actually finally taken this now. So we're going to make it our capital. And then we're going to start increasing development there. Because we're going to try and make this the best place in the HRE. And that is going to be our capital to expand from. But that was so much tougher than it was supposed to be. We're making five gold a month now, which is lovely. Oh, this guy can join our court and he has 21 stewardship. We're going to make him our steward and he's going to really, really speed up that development growth. Well, we can pick up another claim as well for this county. So we're going to try and at least take these two counties for now and then focus on maybe building up our power. Let's extend our mercenaries. And then as soon as we're out of debt, we're going to go to war. Let's go for it before the mercenaries run out. We should have no problem now. We have the backup to hopefully make this successful and not go as terribly as last time anyway. Yep, perfect. Just before his allies got there as well with 2,000 men, which would have made that insanely sad. We're making seven gold a month now, so we have a nice little section carved out. We just got to hope the HRE doesn't fall apart. Like no dissolution faction because for the decision, we do need to be a vassal of an emperor, not a king. It has to be an emperor. Nice. And in our capital, because it is a plains, we're able to build the farms and fields, which is probably one of my favorite straight up money making buildings. At the first level 0.5 gold a month which is massive and if you max it out 2.6 a month of course i don't think we're going to be maxing it out today but the farms and fields are fantastic for money oh yeah so we actually fully control one of the duchies so we have one we need to get two more savoy is optional but i think we may as well take it build up that power even more gotta make switzerland great you know we can't have no average half assed switzerland i did previously do the arch duchy of austria that one was really Really painful as you had to have a hook on the emperor, which was incredibly painful to actually get. But this video was actually suggested in the comments of that one. So if there's any other formable nations you want to see me try, please do let me know in the comments. I'm really enjoying doing these lately. So I'm always looking for more to do. Ooh, it seems the guy over here has split up a little bit, but I think he's still a little bit too powerful for me right now. But what I'm going to do anyway, no matter how big we get, these three counties are going to be my main holdings. So I'm going to upgrade all of them as much as I can and then just personally hold these no matter what. Then we can actually make good money. Once we start making good money, we're going to build some big men-at-arms and finally push our claim on Switzerland. And who knows, maybe once we get Switzerland, we can be voted as the ruler of the HRE. And my son has come of age and he actually picked up Fortune Builder, which is not bad at all. But we do need to try and find another genius for him to marry, though. Ah, they're both too old. Maybe an intelligent. There's got to be at least a few. Uh, they're quite old. She's 30. We'll take that. A bit old than I'd like, but hopefully we can get one grandson or granddaughter that has intelligent. So as you can see, we're practically finished upgrading all our personal domains. And the people we need to fight, Savoy is pretty powerful and they do come with some pretty good allies. Crane is fairly powerful. And once again, this guy has even better allies. And you're also pretty powerful. So no matter what direction we want to expand in, we have a tough fight. That's for sure. But making 14 gold per month. So once we start building up our money now, we're going to go full in on our military. We've got to build something impressive. Try and take these guys down. Oh, well, there we go. We're now playing as Count Victor. He is decent overall, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm not too bothered about going down the stewardship tree, to be completely honest with you. I think I'm going to head down Scholar. Maybe get to sanctioned loopholes at least. I think that will be the most beneficial for us. And of course, we can still demand to be a steward, taking us back up to, what, 12 gold per month. That's more than enough. I don't need to focus now on money. We may as well create the duchies. I think as long as we're not a king, we can create the Swiss 
confederation. So we'll become a duke. It might make things a little bit easier for us. Oh, wow. It seems King Salomon of Hungary is actually exo-communicated. I wish I'd say the reason. I have no idea why he's been exo-communicated. What did he do wrong? Because, yeah, I was wondering why we could declare war on him. So we could actually fight him. And if we win, he's deposed and we gain 600 piety. But he beats us. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> let's not bother with that one. Oh, we're already a candidate for the HRE. Let's hope uh, we, we don't get voted for at all. That would be best. I don't want to be the emperor anytime soon. Maybe after. Just not now, please. Okay, so for a military, we're definitely going to want at least one full stack of armored footmen just as a good base for the army to build around. So we're going to focus on them first and our son on player here did get intelligent. Fantastic. Oh, our liege has just increased the crown authority to high crown authority, which means vassals cannot wage war against other vassals unless they have a hook. Let me see. I think I may be able to get a war declaration and we'll just give him low taxes. You know, I'll give him low levy. We'll give him normal levies for war declaration. So now I think no matter what, yeah, we can still declare war. That's fine. Perfect. Although that might actually make us safer from being attacked, which is great. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get a claim on the full Duchy of Savoy. Right now, he's kind of the easiest as this guy has way too many allies and so does this guy. Really, this guy is probably our best bet to fight against. We have the 8 out of 8 armored horsemen and through some dodgy tax cuts with the Pope, we now have some bowmen as well, which is nice. We have had a daughter, so we can marry her off for an alliance when the time comes. Ooh. Christians now have access to Crusades. So that may happen pretty soon. Maybe we'll get involved. We'll see. Could be interesting. There is a chance we could request a claim as well, though. And if we look, it's only going to cost 230 piety. So we're going to start swaying the Pope. It's only minus two right now, so that may not be too hard to actually get. Okay, this is a crusade for the kingdom of Jerusalem. We can appoint our uh, our sister and friend. Yeah, you know what? We'll appoint her. Like, we're not going to be able to like do anything. To be honest, we don't even have a good army. You know what? I'm going to redirect it to the kingdom of Lithuania. Why not? I've never seen... A crusade for Lithuania, so we're just gonna do it and see what happens. And we're gonna get involved. We're gonna raise all. We will lead it ourselves. Let's try and get the crusader trait, and let's just get ahead of me now. Here we go. Oh god, this is a brutal one. All of England and Scotland, Sicily, places through Croatia and Hungary. Yeah, this is a pretty big crusade. Poor Lithuania. I doubt we're gonna get the most contribution, to be honest, but we'll try. We're just gonna start siege and see what happens. Maybe if we siege enough, we can get the most contribution that way. Oh my god, there's 14,000 of them. Where's it all? Our Allies just go. They all just abandon me. Right, lovely. Well, it's also good for war score if you lose fights, as long as they don't die. Oh, we're second right now. That's terrible. And I think our entire army got fully wiped out there. Oh, we can pick up a claim on all of Savoy. Okay, yeah. Let's not go back to the crusade. We did our bit. We're still second. We'll see. But it looks like we're actually losing somehow. I thought they would have won this one very easily, but they're just kind of hanging around down here. Yeah, they actually lost. How? Well, that is embarrassing. And I spent a lot of gold on that war, but now we do have a claim on all of Savoy. So once we're ready, we're going to go for it. We hold about 2,500 men. We have two daughters. So if we just go full alliance power, so we can get a full alliance with Poland. Uh, yes. And also, let's say, steel. Uh, not them. Someone closer. Lombardy's quite close. So pick up an alliance with those as well. Like, they might have big allies, but we got bigger ones. So I think we're okay. Wait for our troops to be rebuilt and let's go for it. Our claims all of Savoy. Of course, this is optional for the decision, but while they're weak, I see no reason not to just jump in there. Now, we're going to hold out here. Lombardy's quite close, so hopefully they're quick getting here. You know what? Let's start a little siege. I mean, yeah, I don't even know where their troops are. I think they've lost a battle. Yeah, so I think I think we're good. I think we have this in the bag. Right, let's try and get his capital then. We're up 85% already. I'm almost got learn on the job. So only two away now from sanctioned loopholes where we can just buy claims. But just like that, we have the Duchy of Savoy. Problem being, we have a very, very scary vassal. So he could cause us a lot of problems. We'll try and make friends with him. We'll make him our uh, marshal. And we'll start swaying him, I think. Let's try and get on his good side slightly. If he doesn't try and overthrow me straight away, that would be pretty good. That's the head of faith for gold as well, taking us out of debt. There we go. Learn on the job is going to be a nice little boost to our stats. We now have 30 stewardship.
ship. Right, so we can build blacksmiths as we're now able to build our duchy building. And this gives us minus 6% men at arms maintenance. So that's going to save us a little bit of money. But heavy infantry damage plus 5% and toughness plus 15. I mean, we do have a full stack of heavy infantry. So you know what? I've never actually built them before. So let's get them down. May even get another stack of armored footmen then to be honest and that perk means we now have sanctioned loopholes so we can buy claims i'm gonna ask our head of faith for even more gold yes but we are gonna use that gold we're gonna go on a pilgrimage uh we're going a very long one if possible that is 250 but that will get us a lot of piety should be about 600 i think in total maybe depending on what event we get as well yeah we are 600 and we've got the pilgrim trait we're making 7.5 piety per month now as well so let's see we're gonna want to buy claim hmm it's not Oh, perfect. We don't need all his land. I think we just need... We need this guy's land, his vassal. So we're going to buy a claim on him and take his county. We are going to have to start a war now for our claim. Now, I'm hoping we're powerful enough to do this without our allies. So, but we'll try and fight it on our own. If things get a bit sticky, we'll call them in for some backup, definitely. Let's just march in there. We've got 4,000 men. 2,000 of that is levies. The rest are straight up men at arms, which is great. We are losing a lot of money, though. So we need to try and get this war done pretty fast. So we hold the war target already. I want to go in for a fight. Same, it's even. So what we're going to do, yeah, there we go. Let them come to us. So we're defending. That's typically better. So I do that if possible. There we go. We took both counties and we're at 100%. We're we'll going to defeat them one more time just because. Please don't regret this. Please don't regret this. Yeah, okay, we won. If we lost that, that would have been just the most miserable thing that could have happened. But there we go. Did take 16 months, but we didn't go into debt. So that's pretty good. And if we check the duchy titles now, we need this guy's land. We can buy a claim for 250. And he is pretty weak, right? So we should have no problem now. Even without our armies even rebuilt, it's one county. It takes one quick siege. And here we go. Now, the last one is interesting because it's like a county out of the way, but... He does have this coast over here, and he's allied with Bavaria. So that is a pretty big fight. Damn, they made my daughter their court jester. What did she do wrong? <laughs> Can't be doing that. Bit disrespectful, like, but there we go. So yeah, we still have the piety to buy a claim, so we're going to buy a claim on this county of Grisons. Now, a war. We do have some powerful allies. Maybe we just call Lombardy because they're really close, and they can basically square up with Bavaria for us and power wise so i think that works but what we're gonna do we're gonna march in there fast and siege this and stop him raising his troops here hopefully yeah there's five thousand of them there but our allies are here already are they gonna go fight or not if they're going for a fight we'll march over here to support this could get rough what is going on where are they going they're just standing on the mountain are they gonna come in and fight us i don't know what are they doing and if they don't come into fires we do have taken war scores so i'm not too worried i say we just go in for the fight when it takes it, right? There we go. Perfect. Definitely a risk. I mean, we do have Poland. We could call to back us up if needed, but I'd rather do it without them because then it would be just completely unfair and they would stand zero chance against us. But now that we've defeated their armies, we can probably keep doing it over and over again. No problem. And we're at 99 hopefully 100 so we're in a lot of wars they seem to be my allies or my lieges wars so i'm not too worried about those we can just ignore them now we just need to get illustrious i don't know if i'm gonna do it in this guy's life it's only 41 actually so you know what let's try and get illustrious then hunts and feasts are gonna be our way to success with that if we're gonna have a chance to get it it's gonna be this way we could now even move to a diplomacy focus get the plus one prestige per month that's probably not a bad idea either we just had an event a new identity my people, the Swabians are a proud and widespread people. So basically what we can do, we can build a new, stronger identity. You and your lands will adopt a newly emerged divergent culture. What's the culture going to be? I don't know. So now we are the Transuranian people. Okay, I hope I'm not butchering that, but we're actually the culture head now, which of course allows us to select whatever we want. Don't even have battle months, so I think that should be our first focus. We can create another duchy. That's going to give us 300 prestige, so that's going to push us even closer to Illustrious. New liege. Okay, it seems our liege has died, and now we have king 
Leopold of the HRE. I'm going to try anyway. Steward, there we are. He's inviting me to be the steward. He knows. I was going to demand it anyway, so he just gave it to me. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to see if once we are the king of Switzerland, maybe we can manipulate a few people into voting for us to become the Holy Roman Emperor ourselves. We'll see. Okay, our wife died. That does give us a chance to go for prestige gain. We can get 700 and she is infertile. Let's do that. And now we're going to be illustrious. That's pretty good. And as you can see, decision available. Form the Swiss Confederation. There we go. The Swiss Confederation. Confederacy. For a long time, the cities around the Central Alps have been threatened by other actors inside the Empire. United under a single banner, they have now forged mutually beneficial alliances, and they have received the honour of imperial immediacy. In honour of my dynasty's contributions to the Swiss city-states, I have been chosen as the head of this union, and the one who will be the figurehead of all the cantons of our new Swiss confederation. No longer will we be threatened by outsiders, but instead rise as a strong, independent actor inside the empire. We stand together. One great thing about this, it does give you high crown authority, which is really good. And if we look now, there we go. Swiss, wait, wait, somehow half of Savoy become free, even though it should have become de jure part of my land. It is still de jure, right? Our first act as the leader of the Swiss states, taking back Savoy. What do you think you're doing? Like, we're going straight back for that. I don't know how you got freed, but we don't agree. We made to call our allies. Uh, there seems to be a lot more of them than I was expecting. There we go. We're literally sieging everything and they're just running back and forth. I don't know what they're doing. Now, we don't have a vote because to actually vote, you must have one of these titles, which we don't, but we are a candidate. Oh, we're actually rank two. This guy's rank one. What we could do, maybe send a gift to you. You now love me. Maybe he'll vote for me. Send a gift to the emperor. What we're going to do, everyone who's voting for rank one, we're just going to send them gifts, get them to just love us, and hopefully here we go. Look at that. <laughs> rank one already. God, that is way too easy, I think. Sending people just gold, I don't think, should make it up that much. We're just like, yes, I love this person. I want them to be the emperor. They sent me 100 gold. I'm always going to claim it all back off the Pope anyway. So now what we need to do is we need this guy to disappear. So we're going to leave being his steward, and we're suddenly going to want to be his spy master. And now we have 95% chance of success. And once he's murdered, I'm his primary heir. But we got to do it before we die. That is important. So what I'm going to do... Hmm. We're 41. We're not 51 now, actually. We could reset perks. No, let's not. I think we should be okay. Six years. Bit longer than I'd like. Maybe we bribe someone. Does it make it go faster? I don't know. Let's Let's see. Uh, yeah. What the hell? I jumped down way too much. This guy joining went from six years to like 16 months. The strain of lying, all these secret plans and dark patterns. A cold hand clutches my heart whenever I think about them. It feels so wrong. Come on. I know you're compassionate, but this needs to be done. It loses 11 months, really? All right, then. If that keeps happening, we may die before it happens. <laughs> but we can request exocommunication of... Sicily because he likes us and he doesn't like King Guy. You know what? Let's not. Let's just do it. And he has a smelly court. That's the real reason. Maybe someone will go to war with him. We'll have to keep an eye. Maybe Sicily will now get destroyed. But most importantly, there's a 95% chance that King Leopold is murdered. There we go. I am having a mental breakdown though. Um, The new Kaiser. Following the tragic and unfortunate death of Kaiser Leopold, the responsibility to lead the vast empire now falls on my shoulders. And of course, we get all the amazing artifacts, everything we could wish for. We are in the middle of losing an independence war, though, which feels quite unfair. We took the war over with minus 98%. That's kind of unfair, but fair enough. Not much we can really do about that one. But you know what? For today, I'm going to leave that there. I'm pretty happy with that. We managed to raise up from a small count right here. Take Switzerland, form the Swiss Confederation, and use that power to bribe everybody, and I literally mean everybody, to make me the emperor. But yeah, if there's any other of the decisions you want to see me do, please let me know in the comments. But as usual, I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio1, Toxic Flame, Mikey Louie, and Victor Voss Anderson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.